Welcome back to Only Talk Sports. We talk sports every single day, or at least we try to. I'm Rush Jeffrey. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. A team in college football has just suffered a major setback to their quarterback room. The Iowa Hawkeyes have an injury to K. McNamara that is likely going to cause him to miss the rest of the regular season. And for most teams, that would be horrible news. And I still think that it's bad news for Iowa to lose K. McNamara because he did transfer from Michigan. He has a lot of experience and a lot of Iowa fans thought that he was going to help elevate Iowa's offense to be something really special potentially, at least for Iowa because they haven't had a top 60 offense since 2007. So even if Iowa was a mid-tier Big Ten team on offense with Kay McNamara, who when he was at Michigan was a top level quarterback in the Big Ten, at least in the top six or so of the conference, you would have felt like that would have been great news for Iowa. But Kay McNamara has transferred to Iowa and he has struggled. Now some say he was injured in the preseason and he hasn't really fully recovered and now that that injury is manifested into him possibly missing the rest of the season that is what is not allowed him to play that well but I still feel like Iowa's offense all around it struggles because Brian Ferentz play calling is horrible and that it just looks like a 1980s style of offense and they have not changed and improved that offensive style to be more modern maybe you could still have the two tight ends and the heavy emphasis on running the football in the Iowa offense and it could work but you still have to have play action pass and you have have to throw the ball more on first down, something Iowa just does not do. But looking at Kay McNamara's stats, he was 46-90 for 505 yards, four touchdowns, and three picks so far this season. That's not good at all. He was much better at Michigan. Granted, he had more talent around him, but Iowa still has talent on offense. They do have some injuries that are not helping them out either to other players on the roster, but still, I do feel like Kay McNamara has definitely underperformed what a lot of people were expecting. He barely has an over 50% completion percentage, and only 505 five yards in five games is awful. Now, I will say I still trust K. McNamara to be the quarterback for Iowa over the backup quarterback, but that was the next point I was going to make. Will this injury to K. McNamara affect the rest of Iowa's season and possibly prevent them from winning the Big Ten West in the final season of the Big Ten West existence? Now, I really don't think it's going to matter because if K. McNamara was able to lead Iowa to 4-1 and one on the season and 1-1 one and one in the Big Ten with absolutely no offense to speak of, I don't really think it's going to mean that Deacon Hill, the Wisconsin transfer that Iowa brought in to the roster, he's six foot three, two 258 pounds, which is a lot bigger than the six foot one, 205 pounds that Cade McNamara is, but maybe that will be able to help Deacon Hill take the hits in the Big Ten a lot better than Cade McNamara was able to. Plus, a lot of people think that Deacon Hill is not 258 pounds anymore, but still, that's a massive difference in size between the two quarterbacks. But Deacon Hill on the season is 15 to 35 for 164 yards, a touchdown, and an interception. That's that's not much different than what K. McNamara was producing. The completion percentage is lower, but the yards per game is about the same, and the touchdown and a pick is about in line for what K. McNamara did at four touchdowns and three picks. The key for Iowa, if they're going to win the West, is not whether K. McNamara can come back or not, or whether K. McNamara is playing on offense or not, or if it's Deacon Hill. Iowa's defense is the key. Phil Parker's defense has to be as dominant as it's been in the past. They struggled in the Penn State game. Granted, Penn State is a great offensive team, but the Iowa Hawks guys have been solid on defense in the other games and the other teams that they play looking at the Michigan State game and the Iowa State game where the offense only put up 23 points and 20 points and the defense was able to hold Michigan State to 16 and Iowa State to 13 to get victories in those games and looking at the rest of Iowa's schedule it is insanely easy outside of a date at Wisconsin the Hawkeyes play at Nebraska Minnesota and Purdue which is their next opponent all of those games are against opponents that you would think are worse than Iowa Minnesota is a team that Iowa was beaten for the most part of the last decade. Purdue's two and three right now, so you would think that the Hawkeyes would be favored and should win that game. And then at Nebraska, the Cornhuskers are really struggling the season. And even though that's a rivalry game and it's still going to be tough for Iowa to win that game on the road at the end of the season, Iowa has a really good chance to be favored against every single team that they play except the Wisconsin game on the road for the rest of the year. And as long as Iowa wins all of those games, the Hawkeyes could go 10 and two with absolutely no offense. Now, again, I I do think that K. McNamara being the starting quarterback would help Iowa have a better chance to do that. There is a shot they drop a couple games because maybe Deacon Hill doesn't throw for as many yards as K. McNamara did, or maybe he makes a mistake or two more, but who knows? We'll have to see what Deacon Hill can provide. This is still a bad injury for Iowa to lose K. McNamara, but I think the major point here is if almost any other team lost their starting quarterback, it would almost derail their season for sure, whereas with Iowa, their offense is already poor as it is, and 
losing K McNamara, it's a tough loss, but it's not like he was ripping up the road. And maybe with Deacon Hill, Iowa's offense really won't take that much of a step back. It's really hard for Iowa's offense to take any further of a step back. But Iowa's got an easy schedule. They might not even have won the Big Ten West with K McNamara, and they might not win the Big Ten West without K McNamara, but the schedule does help them have a shot. The Wisconsin games are tough as opponent left. But if Iowa does win the Big Ten West, it's going to be because of their defense and whether Deacon Hill can just put up the marginal stats that Kay McNamara did. But we'll have to see. Brian Ferentz's offense is the main reason why the Hawkeyes' offense struggles, just like Phil Parker's the reason the Iowa Hawkeyes' defense is great. But Kay McNamara's injury, it's tough, but I don't know how much of a difference it's going to make on whether Iowa wins the Big Ten West or not. But only time will tell. But even if Deacon Hill does or does not lead Iowa to win the Big Ten West, we'll never know if Kay McNamara was able to do it, especially if he doesn't return for the rest of the season. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Like this video down below. Comment down below whether you think that the Iowa Hawkeyes would have had a better chance to win the Big Ten West or just have a decent season in general with Kay McNamara or Deacon Hill at quarterback or whether you don't really think it's going to matter too much because their schedule is extremely easy. Follow me on Twitter as well. Link is in the description and I'll see you next time.